Hi and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner and in this video I'm going to continue wiring up my edit page for the administration. And so first thing I'm going to do is see if the work I've been doing is actually working. Let's check uh, refresh. Yeah, I think so. So it should be coming from the post store. Uh, it just looks the same. So the big test will be can I access the list from inside here? So. I'll go to my edit form. It's going to, I need to make it into a component like my list one. So it'll be like this, like that. So it'll, I'm not going to call it post list. I'll call it post edit. And then inside, this will actually become a render function. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to convert this. So it's got to return something. I'll just fix the indentation here. And yeah, so um, I need a, basically the same thing I did here. In fact, I'm going to just copy it from the post list. So I'll probably refactor this later, but I just kind of want to get it working now. Uh, it's going to do the same. It's going to subscribe to the same model. It's going to get the same list. The difference is here that I need the ID. Um, so actually, I need to look at React Router and figure out how do you React Router um, ID from URL pass to component. Like, where is that? That's why I need to figure it. Um, params, I guess they're called. I'm. I feel like I'm looking at React Router stuff every. Oh, so there's a params prop. That's cool. So in here, well, I guess in here too. So the ID will be, it should be this.props.params.id. And then, so when the state comes in, um, here, let's, let's write this as a regular function because I, I bet it's going to be, get a little confusing. Um, well, it doesn't have to be quite, it doesn't have to be this. It can still be a fat arrow function. Then I don't, then I have access to this. But, uh, so I'll have the list of all the posts. And what I want is this dot set state, just one post. And that post will be, I need to pick it from the list. So the way I'm going to do that is, um, the list of posts and I'll filter by, so I'll get the post, and I'll filter by post.id is the same as id. So that should return me a list with one post in it. So then I can pull the, the zeroth or the first from that. This is assuming that I can, f if that the id is valid. So what I can do, basically post will be undefined if there's, so I need to think, I need to like handle that case, not necessarily right away, but I need to think about that. So this won't be the props anymore. This will now be, um, it'll come from the state. So I'll pull that from this.state.post and basically it's gonna throw an error if post is undefined. Um, yeah. As I'm saying it, I already know that's not great, but you know, this is an administration area, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so the way I'm going to pass these into the form inputs is with default value. So the title goes here. Let's just try that, see if it's working before I add the others. Refresh. Cannot read property post. This is the error that I was already expecting. So there's no state. So what I'm going to do is check if there's no state or there's no post in the state, then I'm going to return um, loading. So I'll just assume that if that stuff's not there yet, that we're still loading it. So it'll say loading. Oh, but now I can see my other error. Post store is not defined. That's because I didn't include it. Import it. So I'll import it. Uh, scroll up. I'll import it at the top of the edit page. Refresh. 
Cannot read property filter of undefined. Oh, that's because when this first gets called, uh, we haven't loaded the post yet. It's still undefined. So I'll just qualify it by saying if posts. So it's only going to look for our posts if there's a list of posts. Otherwise, it'll do nothing. Loading, loading, loading. OK, something else is wrong now. So what is that? If I refresh and look at my network tab, I can see that it is lo it does load the posts. And I can see it, it worked. So something else is wrong. Let's try to figure out what. All right, so how about when this mounts, I'm going to log post store dot get state, which should tell me what the state is at the start. It's probably just going to say undefined, though, which doesn't really help me. Yeah, undefined. Um, so what else can I do? I, I'll go in my post store itself. And what I'll do is do a console log when it returns. I'll do it like this. So it should log. Yeah, there's the list. So it's setting the posts in here. One other thing I can do is I'll just add a debugging subscription to so it'll just always log posts posts. So let's see it should say start with undefined and then have the list. Yeah, that works too. Hmm. How about I do the same in the edit? So uh, post store that should work too. Yep. And last but not least, why is this something wrong here, maybe? So I'll do a console log. This should be the exact same. If it's not, I'll be really surprised. Yeah, that's the same. Um, oh, you know what it might be? Is that it doesn't, maybe this check is wrong. So what I'll do is um, do a console log to see if we get in here. Yeah, so it failed to find that post. So why is that? Um, let's change filter, or let's do a post up for each, just so I can see what's going on. And then in here, I'm going to do console.log post, post.id, and post.id equals id. And, and id as well. So we'll see all the variables we're looking at. 9 is false. 7 is false. See, that's weird. So I bet one of these is a string and the other is a number. And that's why the three equal signs isn't able to compare them. So if I add a plus, that'll force, th this is probably the string, I'm guessing. So if I refresh, yeah, that's the solution. So the problem was I have three equal signs comparing a string to a number. And so I needed to convert my string to a number so that the three equal signs works. The other thing I could do is just have two equal signs, but I prefer to be, you know, a little bit more specific about what I'm trying to compare. So there we go. So I have the title here, and it'll take me two seconds to add the the slug title, uh, the slug default value slug, and text area default value um, body. And I should be able to refresh, and I should see whatever. There it is. So next step will be saving this post to the database and uh, yeah until then thanks for watching <laughs>